Preserving the most popular trail in Hillsborough County. Last year, runners, bikers, and folks in Citrus Park, they won the battle to keep this trail the way it is. But once again, a developer is now wanting to build apartments nearby. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee showing us why there may be a new battle now ahead. People love this trail not only because of the shade the trees provide, but also because they feel closer to nature. And a lot of them say they're worried putting apartments this close to the trail could ruin that. When Chelsea Fernando isn't hitting the gym, she's pounding the pavement, running three to four miles down the upper Tampa Bay Trail. For me, this is the place where I come to like really enjoy a run where I feel like I'm one with nature. Hillsborough County saying around 300,000 people use it every single year. A developer now hoping to build a new 260 unit apartment complex one year after county officials denied another developer's plans to do the same thing. A lot of people love and use this trail, so I feel like it definitely impacts a lot of people's uh, want to come here. The previous plan would have shifted the trail closer to Gun Highway, also allowing traffic to cross over to get into the parking lot. This new plan scratches both of those ideas, installing a bridge, allowing bikers, runners and walkers to go over any traffic. But Fernando and other runners aren't so sure they like that either. As a runner, you want to keep a level ground uh, because when you go on an incline, that can be hard on your legs, uh, depending on how advanced you are. The new developers say they also wouldn't disturb the canopy of trees folks adore, mainly because of the shade they provide. You depend on uh, the trees covering the trail for you to be able to feel that coolness uh, when you're running past. The developers presented their plan to trail users Wednesday and say they plan on working with neighbors to meet in the middle before heading to county commissioners. We reached out to them several times throughout the day, but have yet to hear back. If you'd like to see the renderings for yourself, head to abcactionnews.com. In Citrus Park, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.